the under 12 school cup for B teams between Glynn School of the Sutton Schools Football Federation and Stanley High School of the Sefton Schools Football Association. First match of 15 that we're going to bring you over the next three days. So I think, you know, goals are going to be a premium. KG affair. Indeed it is. Ball just, just going out. Just to tell you what Stanley's run for. They beat Overston Victoria School 7-0 away. Oh. Then Broughton High School 3-1 at home. St Francis Xavier's College 2-0. Then Thomas Telford 1-0. Northampton School 3-0. And then Valley Gardens Middle School 4-1. So... I think we've got a penalty. And indeed, a penalty has been won here, so... Well, I think it was handball. So a good chance here then for Chris Blackhurst. Well, what a great chance for them. To open the scoring, and... Handball was given. And let's see if Blackhurst can capitalise on the penalty. Oh, great goal! Great goal there from Chris Blackhurst. Opens the scoring in this... Under-12 School Cup for B-Teams final. And the here they are on the attack again, Stanley. Zach Ball into the box. Can he find a cross? He doesn't. Alex Neal sacrifices the corner. Looking to double their lead. As always, always really being backed from the bench. And, and it's oh. going to be a chance, isn't it? In the back of the net, I think it's Yasova, the goal scorer. It is indeed Yasova. He's defended excellently and now has got a goal for his rewards as well. It's a chance to get this one into the box. Couple of men forward. Plenty of yellow shirts back there, though. Stone puts it in. Oh, what a knock on a goal! Oh. Charlie Stone with an absolute pearler at the end of the first half. And has got Glenn School back in the game. Well, we will we'll, we'll see some magnificent efforts over the three days here, and that one will be up there with right some of the best of them. Well, there I was thinking, oh, he's a big lad, he's got to, maybe he's got to go forward, you know, just with a minute to go till half-time, and I thought, what's he doing taking the kick? He should be in the box. But no, he strikes it brilliantly. Well... He's got the ball back again here, does uh, Charlie Stone. <laughs> surely he's, he can't do it on... History can't repeat itself in the space of, of two minutes, surely. Well, he thinks he's having another go at this. Oh, he might well do, might he? Fancies his chances. It's not a bad effort, in fact. And oh, there's a couple of players there! Oh, oh. a chance at the back post. He was well outside as well. Daniel Conclaves when the ball was played. You can see they're good at winning the ball back at the moment, Stanley, aren't they? So the swarm around, Glynn, make it very difficult because they want to be comfortable on the ball and have that time, but Stanley really getting after them. Connor comes in, cross him, oh, yes. the goal! It's, I think it's Jack Meadows, it is, the goal scorer. Yes, number 10, Jack Meadows has got the third goal for Stanley, exactly what they wanted at the start of this second half. And reward for that endeavour. They were on the front foot the first three minutes and well, they get their awards. 3-1 well, to Stanley. Probably the, uh, the smallest player on the pitch, but he gets free in the box. And doesn't he take it well? Great header. Conclaves. Silver's there again to clear the danger. Only to Patrick now this time. And instead it's going to be another Glyn Cornet. Another good corner. There's a good header. It is. Oh, what a great finish. Ollie Hollandby with the header. At the back post. Superb stuff. From the Glynn number 10, a superb header. One many of a pro will be proud of. And Glynn are back in the match. 2-3, they trail. Well, you're absolutely right. You will not see a better header than this. I mean, the ball comes in. And look at this, from a tight angle, phenomenal header. Absolutely brilliant from Ollie Hollenby. Joel Scholes, who's played well in this match. Number eight in midfield. Linked up well, and here he is again. Meadows with the opportunity. Oh, what a touch on! He's going to finish up the line! Oh, Jack Meadows has got there! The second goal for the number 10, Jack Meadows. Dinks it past Lucas Stevens in the goal. His second goal of the game. And Jack Meadows has given Stanley a two goal lead once again. Well, it's brilliant interplay, wasn't it? Again, I think it was Joel Scholes, was it? Who just got the ball. 
but he gets away from his defender brilliantly with a great first touch and has the composure just to slip it around the keeper. But certainly defensively as well, they've been really strong. Disciplined Stanley as a group. But take nothing away from uh, Glynn, because I think had they taken that chance early on when they hit the post, just before this, the half-time, they'd have got that second. I think things could have been different. Ben Craig with a... Whoa! What a goal! What a superb goal for Ben Craig! He tried that a few minutes ago with the set piece and a free kick went over the bar this time right on the money and with what two minutes to go Glenn have set up a grandstand finish well exactly what I said wasn't it you know they're going to have to score and they're going to have to score soon if they want a chance and it's that man look at that in the top corner that is sublime lost from the throw in Alex Neal Neal Ben Hayes Tackles to playing left, right and centre. Anywhere will do for Stanley right now. Neil, Not yeah, enough it. for Glenn Scholes. Stanley are the first winners here at the Majewski Stadium. And the celebrations come again for the school from Sefton. Stanley High School have won the school's cup of B team for under 12s in a pulsating game here at the Majewski on this opening morning well, at the I PlayStation Schools it's Festival. started our uh, PlayStation Schools Festival brilliantly, hasn't it? I mean, what a start to proceedings. This opening day, slightly blustery and wet and miserable here, but nothing miserable about the game. What a, what a great game that was. <laughs> very, very, very proud. Oh. Got to say, very, very proud of Glynn. The game was played in just a fantastic spirit. Both teams trying their best, end to end, really going right up until the very time. And I think both schools, both just parents, we can all be very proud of both teams today. It's a great entertaining advert, wasn't it, for you football? Uh, very entertaining. Not managers, poor teachers <laughs> on a. I think a stiff drink might be in order tonight, but when we get home, it's a very long journey to get back. But we've got our year nines playing in a couple of hours' time. But only halfway there. And well, we'll get the done by for you then. Yeah, I'm my heart on voice is certainly not very good. Students <laughs> will be very welcome. The best shot of uh, well back. John Scales was really impressed with, with his performance and young Jack medals as well. Yeah, first of all, you know, like all have done well, but if you're going to pick out in the just immense for us. Off when I thought Glenn would argue the better team, you know, was really him. He's got he's a very good athlete, his pace was absolutely superb. Little small and that's got a big heart, and then I've got a goal in today on the big stage. He always comes to the limelight just like his parents, and he's walked there. <laughs> that should be coming my way. That photo I've got him through, but brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Play there, congratulations. Oh. One down, one yeah, and a big SFA, the Medeski, you know, rich enough to come here our year tens and win it. These are what memories are made for, and they'll never so no on behalf of everyone who's organised it. Thank you. God bless, James. Thank you. Cheers.